Generally, cryptocurrency investing involves buying the coin and then sitting on the coin for a year, two years while it appreciates in value and hopefully doesn't depreciate too much like we've been seeing in the crypto market recently. Well, what if I told you that Pinex.us offers a very unique AI trading bot which allows you to earn Bitcoin or extra US dollars on your crypto holdings while you're just holding them and that's what an ai crypto trading bot does so in today's video i'm going to be going over the results i've been using an ethereum bitcoin bot for the past two months we'll look at those results and i'm also going to set up a bitcoin us dollar bot because i wasn't really getting the performance i wanted out of my ethereum bitcoin bot and I wanna change up my strategy a little bit and I'm gonna explain why. Stay tuned because I have a crazy offer from Pinex to give you guys. Everyone can sign up for a free $30 trading bot and I'll get into that a little bit later. So let's get into what is a Pinex AI trading bot. So the main bot that I've used for the past two months and the bot we're gonna set up today is called a grid trading bot. So how that works with Ethereum and Bitcoin is that as the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio goes down, you would be buying more Ethereum with your Bitcoin. And then as that ratio goes up, you would be selling Ethereum to get more Bitcoin than you bought in originally. And that allows you to generate additional Bitcoin profits off of your trading bot that you can either release and take and cash them out, or you can put them back into the bot to sort of compound. So later we'll take a look at the two month results of my Ethereum Bitcoin bot. But for right now, let's go ahead and set up my own brand new US dollars slash Bitcoin AI trading bot. And Pinex has been nice enough to actually sponsor this video. And they're gonna be putting my AI Bitcoin bot on the front page so that you guys can go in and copy my exact bot if that's the one you wanna use. So just to show you, if you go to the Pinex homepage and press create bot, you can see all of these bots on the top that people have already created. So some of these and what mine is gonna mimic is this Bitcoin long-term moon bot. So that has a 77% APY over the past year which is by far better than these other ones. So we're going to be kind of changing some parameters on this one to create the very first modern mining trading bot for people to be able to copy. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the phone interface because that's a little easier to do this bot setup on and we can look at what these parameters are going to look like. Okay, so once you open up the pinex.us app, you can see the home page, and right away it's going to show you the different bots that you are able to copy. So this Bitcoin AI bot, you can see that's the one that I've already copied and been using for the past two months. But there's also different bots from different people. So Crypto Trader, Compounding, Crypto Kid. This home page is where you should see the modern mining bot once this video goes live. So let's go ahead and create a new one. You want to go to the bot screen and this create up here. And then what we're gonna be doing is a grid trading bot. And instead of doing Ethereum Bitcoin, we're gonna be doing Bitcoin US dollars. And I'll explain why when I review the earnings of my Ethereum Bitcoin bots. But in short, I don't really think Ethereum is going to gain in price on Bitcoin. So that makes the Ethereum Bitcoin bot not perform very well. Whereas I definitely think Bitcoin is going to appreciate in terms of US dollars and I definitely think it's going to be volatile and that's what this bot takes advantage of volatility and the price of Bitcoin. And I wish I had this set up a week ago because that huge crash down to like, what was it? 48 K or something. And then all the way back to 56 K. If this bot had been running during that, it would have made a lot of money. So, what we wanna do now that we wanna set this up is go to customize. So the first thing that you need to decide is what you want the limits of your bot to be. Basically, these are the limits that your bot is going to trade within and if it goes below the lower limit, the bot is no longer gonna trade anymore and if it goes above the upper limit, it's not gonna trade anymore as well. And also, it's gonna somewhat determine how much profit we make per trade, but Let's go ahead and set the lower limit here to, I'm thinking probably 40,000 considering 
we had just dropped to like 49k last week so if i set it too high then the bot will just not perform because it'll drop below the limits and the upper limit let's do 120,000 because that should give us a good six months maybe if it's any less i'm not going to be complaining because bitcoin's at 120,000. so as far as grids i'll pop it up on screen but this is basically if you have your price range how many different sections or trades are you going to break that price range into because each grid is going to be where a trade is performed so if our range is a hundred thousand and we set only 10 grids then we're only going to make a trade every ten thousand dollar fluctuation in bitcoin so obviously we don't want to do that or we're never going to be executing any trades so let's play with a couple numbers here if i do 200 grids then you can see that my profit for every trade is going to be 0.14% all the way up to 0.8%, which is pretty good. That's almost a percent for every trade that goes through. So if we think about our $80,000 range divided by 200 grids, that's going to be about every $400 we're going to be executing a trade, which I think that's a pretty decent amount. So we're going to set that to 200 and then our total investment you can either put US dollars in this or you can put USDT in this. So right now it's asking for US dollars, but I actually have USDT. So I'm going to actually switch this to USDT Bitcoin. So let me find Bitcoin USDT. There we go. And so now I need to set this up one more time. So lower limit, we said 40,000. Upper limit, 120,000. Grids, 200. And total investment, I'm gonna put $500 into this bot, $500.67. And this, uh, these advanced settings, they're not super important, but the slippage control, I am going to enable that to 5%. This slippage control, I got it popped up on screen, is basically just to control your initial buy-in and make sure you don't lose too much of your initial investment to market liquidity problems if there's not a lot of liquidity you might market buy at too high of a price so with this five percent slippage in we're not going to have to worry about that and especially with bitcoin the volume and liquidity on pinex for bitcoin should be high enough that this isn't going to be an issue so with that set we're going to leave the other two options set how they are if you had bitcoin that you wanted to invest in this you could change this to both and then you would be able to put in some of your bitcoin as well but we're gonna leave it as USDT, set our investment to 567 cents. And if everything looks good, give it a quick double check. We will go ahead and hit create. So what it's going to do is it's gonna immediately buy 81% of our money into Bitcoin while keeping 18% in US dollars so that if it drops any further, we still have 18% in US dollars to continue buying. And if it goes up from here, we're going to be selling off our Bitcoin into US dollars and our grid profits are going to be in US dollars with this bot. So we can always reinvest those grid profits back into the bot if that's what we want to do. So let's go ahead and hit OK. We'll buy all of this Bitcoin and we can see we're already down 0.04%. That's basically from that slippage, but really that's not too bad. Okay, so now we're on the bot screen and this is where you kind of monitor your profits, how many trades the bot has made, all of those things. So real quickly, I'll break down a couple of these things. In the top left, you can see our grid profit and how many, basically how much dollars and also what percent. And then you can see our holding profit in USDT. So this is basically takes into account what the price of Bitcoin is. So if Bitcoin is going down, remember this bot is holding 80% Bitcoin. So our holding profit in US dollars, that will go down as well. So this minus 0.06, 0 0.05, the movement we're seeing there is just the price of Bitcoin fluctuating. Now the grid and total annualized profit, this is how much profit the bot is projected to make over a whole year and how much profit we've made per grid. So right now it's zero because we have zero trades and it's total and it's our annualized profits at a minus 100%, but obviously that hasn't taken into account the correct information because we haven't traded yet. The trades, we can see how many trades it's made in the last 24 hours and how many total. 
Remember, this bot is going to trade on every $400 fluctuation of Bitcoin. Our price range, and we set it to 200 grids, and our accumulated grids and USDT profit is basically sitting at the same as the holding profit because we haven't made any trades yet. So that is our bot. And if we go to the price USDT, then we can see the price of Bitcoin right here. And this is basically that Bitcoin USDT ratio that we're going to be trading off of. So another interesting thing that you can look at is the details button right here. And what this is going to do is show you what the upcoming trades are and how much money you're going to make off of them. And this page is very helpful to understand kind of what trades the bot is going to be making. So on the left is all of our grids that we're going to buy Bitcoin. And you can see that if Bitcoin drops to $56,482, we're going to buy a grid's worth of Bitcoin. And that will that's down 0.5% from where we're at. But we can continue scrolling down and you can see we've got 42 grids all the way down to 40,000. We're going to be buying Bitcoin basically every about 1% it looks like or maybe about 0.7%. So for example, we're, if it goes down to $48,000, then we're going to be purchasing 22 different purchases of Bitcoin. And if it does go down to $48,000, that would be a minus 15% from where we're at today. But where we're going to make our profit is when Bitcoin increases in price. So you can see on the right side, this is when we're going to be selling Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin goes to $57,286, we're going to be selling a grid for a total of 0.75% profit. And you can see all of these grids that we're going to be selling all the way up until $81,407, which would be a 43% increase from where we're at today. So these are the different grids. And then you can go to transactions and see your trades. We don't have any yet. And then parameter to see your parameters. So if you're interested in this bot, let's talk about the awesome deal that Pinex.us is giving all of my United States customers. Let's switch back to the computer and take a look at it. So right here on screen, we have the offer that Pinex is offering. It's $30 free USDT trading bot to all customers who go on here and claim this. You have to be from the US. And the other stipulations are you have to complete the KYC process, which a lot of people don't like doing, but with this being a US exchange, heavily regulated, that's something you have to do. And honestly, there's the whole not your wallet, not your crypto thing that people like to say, but honestly, US based exchanges are about the safest non custodial places that you could put your crypto. So I wouldn't worry too much about going through the KYC verification here. And then you can expect your bot to arrive within three days and your bot will be locked for 30 days after which you can keep the profit. And if the bot goes negative, you're not out any money. Pinex will basically cover those losses. So I'll have the link for this down below. There's literally no reason not to do it. It's free $30 and hopefully it goes good. Maybe it ends up at $100, but I will have this link down below for you guys to get your own trading bot. And if I understand correctly, this will actually be a copy of my exact trading bot. And if not, you can always copy my bot off the home screen because that's where it's going to be. So hopefully these bots go good and we all make a lot of profit over the coming weeks and months as Bitcoin is volatile, but also hopefully continues to go up in price. Okay, I just had a quick lunch and our bot actually made its first trade in that short little 10 minute period. So that gives us a little more information to look at. So we can see here now transactions in the last 24 hours, we have one and total transactions, we have one. And our accumulated arbitrage profit, we have made 1.3 cents so far. So not a lot, but it's been 10 minutes, so that's not too bad. So you can see this second number right here is the total profit net loss, which is the holding profit as well as releasable arbitrage profit. Um, so that's basically this holding profit plus this number right here. That's how you get this second number right here. Like I said, it's only been 10 minutes. So that's showing our uh, annualized profit at about 245%, which obviously that's probably not going to happen. But go ahead and hit that link down below and get this free bot so you can follow along. And hopefully we do end up getting that 200% return. That would be crazy. 
Okay, so now let's talk about my Ethereum Bitcoin bot that I've had running for the past two months and the results are not great, but there is some reasoning behind it and it's not the bot's fault, it's actually my fault because I'm the one who picked the strategy that that bot is running off of and I didn't fully understand what that strategy was gonna be or I wouldn't have chosen that bot in the first place. So it's already up on screen here, you probably already noticed it. My Ethereum Bitcoin bot is down 16%. And so that's just in terms of my Bitcoin value. So if I had put one Bitcoin in here, I now only have basically 0.84 Bitcoin. But that doesn't mean that that money is lost. I didn't technically lose anything. All it means is that it's been transferred into Ethereum and that Ethereum is weaker against Bitcoin than it was when I started this bot in the first place. So let's dig into this a little bit deeper. First off, let's just go ahead and look at why the bot's down so much. So if we look at the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, you can see that Ethereum has been losing a lot of value to Bitcoin over the past two months. And this is the root cause of why the bot is down in profit is because I should have realized that for this bot to make money, Ethereum has to gain value quicker than Bitcoin. Basically, the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio has to go up. And honestly, I would have never chosen this bot because I don't think Ethereum is going to gain value on Bitcoin, at least not right now. Historically, Ethereum does not gain value on Bitcoin until after the bull run has occurred. So, Really, I'm going to leave this running for another year because I think it will come back. Maybe not a year, but a few more months. But the reason it's down is because Ethereum to Bitcoin ratio has gone from 0.057 all the way down to 0.044. And this huge crash that just happened in the crypto market made that a lot worse. But let's go back into here and look at some more stuff. So you can see... Basically, from the time I created it, it was down the whole time because Ethereum was just dropping in price compared to Bitcoin. And if we look at placed orders, you can see that basically we have no more buys orders made right here. So basically, Ethereum dropped so much in price that we just kept buying Ethereum, kept buying Ethereum in hopes that when that ratio went up, we would sell the Ethereum. But that ratio hasn't gone up. So we have literally no more buys in our Ethereum list. And we just have a long list of sells. So for all of these sales to execute, Ethereum has to gain 50% on Bitcoin, which is likely not going to happen at least for a very long time. But if Ethereum even gains 20% on Bitcoin, then I'm going to have 24 transactions to execute. And this is quickly going to go back to even or even in the profit. So why this money is not technically lost? It might look like I'm down 16% Bitcoin, but that's not really the case because all this bot did was sell Bitcoin and buy Ethereum. So I still have that Ethereum. So if I was to stop this bot and I go to the stop the bot button and I can see that, are you sure you wanna stop it? Do you want to help us automatically sell all your Ethereum into Bitcoin? And if that was the case, then I would get 16% less Bitcoin than I put into it. But you can hit this don't sell option and it's going to give you the amount of Ethereum you have and it's going to give you the amount of Bitcoin you have. So if I believe Ethereum will eventually gain back some ground on Bitcoin, I'm better off just holding that Ethereum because it's still a very well established coin than I would be to take the actual 16% loss in Bitcoin. I wouldn't recommend doing that. So that's a nice little fail safe that I have. I can still sell the Ethereum that I actually have. And just real quick, this thing is up to 1,500% uh, annualized profit now. So that's just crazy. It's obviously going all over the place, but that, that's a good sign. So if we look, I'm holding 0 0.0266 Ethereum. So that is where my money is now at. I have a ton of Ethereum and not a lot of Bitcoin because basically we've bought so much Bitcoin and at this point we're just waiting for the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio to go up so we can start transitioning that Ethereum back into Bitcoin. With crypto mining being so uncertain right now with GPU mining having very little coins that are profitable to mine and even home ASIC mining not being extremely profitable right now with this big crypto crash, I'm always looking for 
additional ways to make passive income with cryptocurrency. And these bots are just something I'm trying out. Obviously, the Ethereum Bitcoin one has not gone great so far, but the whole crypto market as a whole is down a ton. So it's hard to actually take anything from that. We'll see how this Bitcoin USDT bot goes. I'm going to be letting this run for at least a month or two. And then hopefully I'll be doing another video to show you guys what the profits look like over that time. Don't forget to hit that link down below to get your own bot. Check out some of my other videos and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Modern Mining. Peace.